The whole concept of terroir is, is not a word that we have in English. Uh, it is a, the term defines how a place, a site, a vineyard, the aspect or a position to the sun, all gives a wine, a certain wine, a signature and or its terroir. Hey there, I'm here today at Terroir Artisan Wines with Carrie and Daisy Damsky. Hi, how are you? Great. Hey. This is located in downtown Geyserville. And before I um, pass on the mic to you, on the top of your website, you say something to the effect of, does anybody love what they do more than us? I, I think I have one of the best jobs you know, that is imaginable. Um, I make wine for uh, 17 different people that takes me around the world um, and to 50 different vineyards and uh, I love what I do. And I was lucky enough to know that uh, I wanted to be a winemaker at the age of 18. Um, made, went to University of California Davis um, and uh, along with a number of other great current winemakers, it was a great class. Almost everyone wants to know about my journeys in India. And I uh, have partnered up with a good friend who went to Stanford, Rajiv Samat, I, uh, and the name of the brand is Sula. And we've produced the largest and most success successful winery in India. Um, and it's a 350,000 case winery, and, and it's, 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 uh, uh, it's done very, very well. I've also worked in Bulgaria, China, um, most of my work is, is, is here in California, but I enjoy um, the ha halfway around the world journeys. This is the, um, uh, again, the Godwin families are longtime friends of the Damskys, and this is a unique uh, Chardonnay uh, from the Russian River Valley. Um, while it's not hillside, its, it's uniqueness is derived from uh, the clone of Chardonnay that it is, and it's, and it's a French clone, um, floral clone. This wine has this lovely sort of white peach uh, floral character and it's unique uh, to, to, to this clone of Chardonnay. Do you get that? I do, yeah. absolutely. Still quite warm um, for Zinfandel and because of that, and Dry Creek's known for really making luscious, jammy style Zinfandels, this wine tends to be quite concentrated, has that nice Dry Creek jammy character. Um, when I smell it, I get sort of a blackberry, really pretty blackberry strawberry aroma, effusive, um, effusive, pretty sweet nose of berries. <clears throat> Lovely sweetness in the mouth, even though it's not sweet, um, and fairly big bodied. But, but not overdone, it's elegant. The Hughes family, which is Sonoma Mountain. Sonoma Mountain is located um, east of the town of Santa Rosa. It gets lots of, of uh, Pacific, Bodega Bay, um, coastal influence. And so we, we pick these grapes um, about a month later than we, than we pick the Peony Ridge. So it's, too, it's, it's really quite interesting in terms of, of what sight does to the, to, to the wines. People love them both for their uniqueness and again, it's, it, it sort of wraps up of what we're doing here at Terroir's Artisan Wines. Hi there, I'm Daisy Damsky, and I want to welcome you to our tasting room, Terroir Artisan Wines, here in Geyserville. Even though Sonoma County is a very large county, and we're a tiny little spot on the map, we have found that over the last year, people have come once, then twice, then three times back to our tasting room. I thought it would be a good place to pour the Palmieri wine for you. So this is our Van Ness vineyard. Note the bat on the, on the label. We have a different indigenous animal on every Palmieri label. Palmieri is exclusively a Syrah based project and we figured that when we started if we had to drink it all ourselves we wanted to be the wine that we wanted to consume which and we love syrah so <laughs> perfect <laughs> perfect mm. and i love it every time i taste it thank you so we make about 250 300 cases of this that's it mm, pretty limited here mm -hmm.